Are you getting the annoying direct X and recoverable error every time you launch or play the new Call of Duty Warzone 2.0? In this video, we'll show you what needs to be done to fix this problem. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Fix number one, close and restart Warzone. Restarting both the game and the launcher you're using is necessary when dealing with random or persistent crashes. Just close the game and launcher normally or using the task manager. If one or both has become unresponsive, you can pull the task manager up by pressing CTRL plus Shift plus ESC. From there, look for app you want to close by highlighting it and clicking on the end task button at the lower right. Fix number two, power cycle the PC. If the error returns after relaunching the game, the next step is to refresh your computer. You can do that by restarting it. Sometimes, this is all it takes to get rid of minor or temporary bugs. Games will sometimes run properly after a restart, especially if the PC has been left to run for a long time. Fix number three, install game and OS updates. Another easy thing to do is to update the game and your Windows PC OS. The likelihood of experiencing game issues can be reduced by maintaining a completely updated software environment on your PC. By default, a Windows PC and your game launcher should automatically download updates for you but you can always check manually anytime. Fix number 4, Repair Game Files A corrupted game file can lead to crashes, performance issues, and, at times, even the weird DirectX error. Make sure that you run the Repair Utility tool in your game launcher to update the game files. If you're playing on Steam, follow these steps. Launch the Steam app. Go to the library. Look for the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and right-click the icon. Then select Properties from the drop-down options. Select Browse Local Files tab. Select Verify Integrity of Game Files to begin the repair process. Run Call of Duty Warzone 2 again to check if the issue has disappeared. If you're running Warzone on Battle.net, here are the steps to follow. Open the Blizzard Battle.net desktop app. Click the icon of the game you are trying to repair. Click Options. Select Scan and Repair. Click Begin Scan. Wait for the repair to finish. Fix number 5, Install GPU Driver Updates Updating your device drivers is one of the most fundamental forms of PC gaming upkeep. Maintaining current graphics drivers is a breeze with software like NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed on your computer if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Right-click Start button. Select Device Manager. Once the device manager is open, click the drop-down for display adapters. Find your display adapter and right-click on it. Select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Graphics Driver. <music> Fix number 6, try running the game on another DirectX version. So, if you're currently using DirectX 12 when playing Warzone 2, try to see if changing to the older DirectX 11 will work. You should do the opposite if you're currently using DirectX 11, just switch to DirectX 12. Keep in mind that the DirectX version for Warzone is DirectX 12 but it should also work fine with DirectX 11. To know the current DirectX version of your PC, follow these steps. Open the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows key plus R. In the Run box, type in DXDiag and press Enter. In the DirectX Diagnostic Tool window, you should see the DirectX version under the System tab. Now that you know the DirectX version on your machine, open Steam. Go to the Library tab and select Call of Duty Warzone 2. Right-click on the game and select Properties. In the left pane, go to General tab, go to Launch Options, type the following command, Force DX11 or Force DX11. If you are playing Warzone 2 on Battle.net, open the Battle.net app. Select Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or Warzone 2. Click on Options. Select Game Settings. Find Call of Duty Warzone 2 and check the box for additional command line arguments. In the new box, enter the command for the desired DirectX version. D3D11 Legacy. D3D11. D3D12. Click Done to save. <music> Fix number 7. Reinstall GPU drivers. Bad or corrupted GPU drivers are frequently at the root of DirectX issues. You may want to reload your graphics card drivers if you're still having trouble playing Warzone after making these changes. Here's what you need to know to do that. In the search box on the taskbar, search for Device Manager. Select Device Manager. Find your GPU under Display Adapters. 
Right click the name of the device and select uninstall. Restart your PC. Windows will attempt to reinstall the driver after the restart. <laughs> Fix number 8, check for third party interference. This solution covers all apps that are not necessary for running Warzone 2. It's possible that a third-party app is causing the problem due to a weird software glitch or unknown bugs. Make sure that you're only running the launcher and the game client to see if that will improve things. You also want to ensure that you're not using any overlay from Steam or from any other app. Disable Discord overlay if you have it as it's notoriously causing issues with other games. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends, this can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.